Aquaibum State workers are in for better times as Governor Domi Monil has announced plans to commence their mass low-cost housing scheme in the state, even as they have assured the governor of their resolve to stand by him for eight uninterrupted years. Governor Emmanuel, who reveals that he is stopping the trend where civil servants had to wait until retirements before planning to own houses with their terminal benefits, explained that he is working out an extremely affordable housing scheme for all his workers. The governor, who spoke during the 2017 May Day celebration, jointly organized by the state's chapter of the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, at the Uyo Township Stadium, said already he had acquired the land and was ready to use a public-private partnership scheme to finance the mass housing scheme for workers in the state. He said, we have covered many miles with glittery milestones in the last two years through the active support and cooperation of workers in the state and maintained that today we are happy that we may not owe you salaries but we owe you gratitude. He assured that backlogs of promotion arrears will also be cleared recounting that his government had previously cleared backlogs of local government gratuities of over 10 years. We are aligned completely with the notion that a laborer deserves his or her wages. Today, we're happy that we do not owe workers' salaries, but we owe you gratitude. I may not owe you pension, current pension, but I owe you gratitude. And the only way for me to show gratitude is not only to provide for physiological needs, it's also to cater for the needs of tomorrow. Bill and Aquaibo, that the labor that you are now trying to train your children, they will not come out to beg for a living, but they will come out to earn a living. That's the depth of gratitude that I owe you. And I want to say here that we will clear backlogs of those areas that people said. The steam, the passion, the commitment that we started, we're thinking will be sustained by the, you know, by macroeconomic indices that we had at that time. That's why immediately we came in, irrespective of what happened. We started by clearing backlog of gratuities of local government from 2002. We did that for 10 years. I reckon that the economy was able to sustain that by today. We would have been paying in advance, no more in arrears. But be rest assured, we'll soon get there. And by God's grace, we will make workers proud. If somebody asks you, that today you came for Labor Day. What did the governor say? I want to announce to all workers in Akwaibon State today that irrespective of the economic situation, two things are paramount in the life of a worker, food and shelter. If you conquer food with your salaries, I want to reassure you that I'm going to work with the head of the civil service and these two labor chairmen to ensure that we start a very affordable housing scheme for our workers. Governor Emmanuel describes the labor force in Akwaibum as partners in progress, working harmoniously with government to bring democracy back to the people and announced that his government was almost ready to commission an electricity substation in Uyo, funded solely by his administration to boost power supply in the state and reduce tariff on consumers. Let me reassure workers, I took that challenge last year, and by the time we'll be celebrating our second year in office this year, we will be commissioning a substation along four lanes. I'm sure if you drive through there, you see a substation. That project is funded 100% by the state government. And that's to ensure that I have something to negotiate with electricity distribution company concerning the tariff that workers pay in the state. He commended the leaders of the labor unions, saying they have been working with him actively in the interest of the Aquibum project, assuring that his government will not relent in providing programs that will give value to the wages of workers and improve their living standards. The governor described workers as his veins and arteries that have circulated development programs across the state, saying the premium on their importance accounted for his cancellation of all engagements to personally attend the rally. 
He also announced that he was ready to unveil a complete new repositioned general hospital in Atinan this month, insisting that his administration was ready to completely advance facilities and secondary health centers across the state to meet the affordable health care delivery of the people. He also assured on his industrialization drive in the state, announcing that the electricity metering project, the syringe manufacturing company, 60,000 capacity flour mill, will soon be completed and the workers will join in the May Day celebration of 2018. Assuring that teachers and other categories of workers for recruitment in the state would be appointed strictly on merit, indicating that everyone is given equal opportunity to prove himself or herself. He said, let people be reassured that it is purely on merit, not by mercy. He urged the workers to display passion for service and reach out to impact on the lives of others in need. Presenting a solidarity message to the workers on behalf of the state's legislature, the speaker, Barrister Norfia Kluk, acknowledged the supportive role played by Akwaibom workers in the development of the state and reaffirmed the commitment of the 6th Assembly in supporting the good governance in the state. Barrister Luke said the House will continually serve as a bridge between government and the people through an open legislation that revolves around the people. He urged them to continue to show support to the government of Mr. Domi Manuel, adding that the Akwaibom State House of Assembly will always collaborate with other arms of government to bring dividends of democracy to Akwaibom people. On behalf of the legislature, we came here to make two commitments. The first commitment being that we will always cooperate with all arms of government to ensure that the dividends of democracy is given to Akwaibom people and in this particular occasion, those who have labored to create wealth, those who have labored to the development of our dear state. We recognize the fact that without your commitment, without your support, there would not have been any development in the state. Having said that, we want to wish you a happy 2017 May Day. May God bless all of you in Jesus' name. The Chairperson, Trade Union Congress, Comrade Akamba Awa, and the Chairperson, Nigeria Labour Congress, Comrade Etmukbong, in their separate messages, commended Governor Emmanuel for being a listening governor and for his efforts at putting smiles on the faces of workers. They announced the resolve as workers to encourage Governor Emmanuel to recontest and continue for another term in office because of his workers' friendly disposition. They urged lawmakers in the country to rise in support of the implementation of the new minimum wage for workers due to the high cost of living in Nigeria. The event featured much passed by the different labor and trade unions to the admiration of the governor who took the salute. Long live Akwaibom State. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Greatest Nigerian workers! Yes. E -workers. E -workers. E -workers. E -workers. God bless you all. Thank you.